I think that is the challenge with the way that many militaries report. Uh, too often what they're saying is geared towards domestic consumption to keep the, the, the population back home on side for the war, even if that means suppressing the truth or, or hiding the truth about what's actually going on on the battlefield. My name is Chris Woods, I'm an investigative journalist and I run an organisation called airwars.org. We track international airstrikes in places like Iraq, Syria and Libya and we try and identify who's killing uh, the civilians uh, in those countries from airstrikes. Over time I've covered a lot of conflicts and, and also at different stages of the conflict. So for Iraq, after I was there for the 2003 invasion and then, then I went back most years up until I think about 2007 uh, making big reports for BBC Panorama. There are multiple perspectives and sometimes completely overlapping and contradictory facts. Um, the best you can do is, is to understand those different perspectives and try to weave them together into a, into a, a credible understanding of what's going on. Crucially, that means including the voices of the people in uh, whose, whose country you're in. And I think too often, uh, Western journalists tend to go in, particularly when they're covering conflicts, tend to go in from the military's perspective and have almost no or no contact with local populations. That's a problem. That's a big problem. War is not something that we enact upon other people. War is something that we participate in. Uh, and I think too often in narratives of war, uh, we lose that perspective of local populations. And my empathy has always been with, with civilians on the battlefield. I, I'm not particularly interested in the tanks, the planes, the, the guns. The, I don't find them sexy. I don't find them that interesting. I do find very, very interesting the effect on innocent civilians who are trying to survive, you know, often in terrible circumstances. The Ministry of Defence, like all Ministry of Defences, the Pentagon, seeks to control information and seeks to mould understanding of the battlefield. I think one of the problems I have with CENTCOM, with the MOD, uh, and the propaganda they put out, and it is propaganda uh, a lot of the time, is that it's not aimed at the populations where we're fighting our wars. It's aimed at domestic populations back home to keep them on side for the war. And I, I sometimes struggle to see that that is a fit thing for militaries to be involved in. I think there's this, this problem with militaries trying to manage the, the story. Too often what they're saying is geared towards domestic consumption, to keep the, the, the population back home on side for the war, even if that means suppressing the truth or, or hiding the truth about what's actually going on on the battlefield. And I think that's majorly problematic. This, you know, this is not 1914. We should have moved well beyond that. And of course, the big difference between now and 1914 is we know what's happening on the battlefield because we have those other perspectives now. We have social media, we have the enemy's position, we have that in real time. The militaries, governments are living in this fantasy world where they pretend that our bombs are now so perfect that civilians don't die in war anymore. It's a complete fantasy. It's, uh, you get out onto the battlefield and the reality is very different from that. 